Am I the asshole for not attending my daughter's gender reveal for her lizard? This is literally really stupid but she's really upset about it. So my, 48, daughter, 23, has a blue tongue skink who she heavily adores. She jokingly refers to it as her daughter, I found it weird but she says it's because it's the closest thing she'd have to a child and she feels a strong emotional bond similar to a child. She has decided to remain child free for multiple reasons and I have been very supportive of this decision. Well she recently took her skink to the vet for a checkup and she was excited to find out her skink's gender. Afterwards I got a text asking if I'd come to her gender reveal party she was having. She explained it was just a small get-together with cake and food for her friends she hasn't seen in a while with the gender reveal being mostly a joke, and a way to make fun of real gender reveals. Well I didn't come. I didn't see a point. It's just a lizard and I'm a busy person. She later called me and expressed she was kind of sad I didn't come cuz it had been a while since I'd seen her but she understood I was busy. I told her she couldn't actually expect me to come to a gender reveal for a lizard. She said that it wasn't a real gender reveal, that was more of a joke and it was really just a small gathering to catch up with everyone. I told her if that was the case she should have just called it a gathering because I'm not coming to a gender reveal unless it's for a real granddaughter. She got quiet for a minute and then turned my words around, claiming I wasn't supportive of her decision to be child-free. I told her she can't possibly expect me to treat a lizard as a granddaughter. She said she didn't expect me to but it was clear I didn't respect her bond with her lizard and her decision, and she just wanted to see me and my reason for coming was hurtful. I told her she was being ridiculous over a lizard, she claimed it wasn't over the lizard and it was a gathering and not even centered around the lizard, but I stick by to what I said. It's ridiculous to have a gender reveal for a lizard. She hung up and I got a message from her best friend about how I'm an asshole for treating her that way, but I don't think I'm the asshole for not wanting to go to a party for a lizard? Edit. In the time I was away I got many replies and it was a lot to read through. Let me clear a couple things up. 1. My issue is that she said the party was a gender reveal, if she had called it just a party I would have come. But calling it a gender reveal makes it sound like it's for the lizard, and I'm not going to that even if it is a joke, too. I don't know why it matters but the skink is a girl which is why I said, I'm not coming to a gender reveal unless it's for a real granddaughter. 3. Even though I don't agree with my daughter for being child-free, I have been supportive and only shown mild frustration. The reason she decided to be child-free is she claims she's asexual, she just doesn't want one, she has emotional baggage and feels unable to care for a real child, she fears pregnancy, and she has a carrier gene like me and, doesn't want to go through what I did. I had four miscarriages and a highly defect child that died after three months due to the gene. Yes there has been slight tension between us because I think she just hasn't found the right man, she never dated growing up, and her other fears are unnecessarily exaggerated, but it's ultimately her decision and I don't resent her. 4. We haven't seen each other in 3 months. I'm a single mother and we have always been close which is why she invited me with her friends, I just didn't want to go to a party with a lizard, and if it wasn't for the lizard she should have called it a party instead of a gender reveal. You are the asshole. That's your grand lizard. ETA it was obviously not just about the gender reveal and your daughter wanted to see you. You are the asshole. Your daughter sounds cool though. I got a text asking if I'd come to her gender reveal party she was having. She explained it was just a small get together with cake and food for her friends she hasn't seen in a while with the gender reveal being mostly a joke, and a way to make fun of real gender reveals. I told her if that was the case she should have just called it a gathering. She did. She told you it was a small get-together to see people she hadn't seen in a while, with the gender reveal being a joke. Your daughter wanted to see you, and you refused because your fifis got hurt over a silly joke. You don't have a granddaughter, and if you carry on acting like this you won't have a daughter for much longer either. You are the asshole. You are the asshole. Well I didn't come. I didn't see a point. It's just a lizard and I'm a busy person. It wasn't for the lizard, it was for your daughter. If you're too busy to do nice things for your family, or apparently even tell them you aren't coming, then just say that. But don't hide behind some ridiculous moral stance of it being, not a real gender reveal, honestly this whole post just screams. I only give a shit about my kid if she's having babies, and that's pretty vile. I told her if that was the case she should have just called it a gathering because I'm not coming to a gender reveal unless it's for a real granddaughter. You are the asshole for this. That was pretty insensitive. Sounds like your daughter explained clearly she had the party as an excuse to get together. 
Yes, it would have been better for her to tell you that up front, but you doubling down after the fact was unnecessary. I like your daughter she sounds like fun. Edit for clarity. I find OP's comment insensitive because it heavily implies she's not okay with her daughter choosing to be human child free. Edit. I missed the part where the daughter did tell op it was a joke part up front. You are the asshole. She made it clear the whole, gender reveal for Lizard, was a joke and the party was meant to be just a get together. Why are you so salty about your daughter having sense of humor? Daughter. Hey, I'm having a pirate themed party, op. I can't go, I don't own a boat. You are the asshole. Yikes. The joke flew way over your head didn't it? You being hung up about the jokey lizard gender reveal. Telling her you would do it for a real kid is a low blow. You're not as comfy with her being child free as you say huh? Am I the asshole for refusing to babysit my brother? When I, F28, was 20 and my brother, 15, was 8 I told my stepmother that I wouldn't babysit him ever again after an incident. When his bedtime came I told him to finish his game on his tablet and go to bed. He refused so I took his tablet, put it on a high shelf and told him he could have it back in the morning if he went straight to bed. He'd already been misbehaving that night and I no longer had any patience for him. Instead of going to bed he got a chair and tried to reach his tablet from the shelf, so I hid it properly. My dad and stepmother came home a little while after, I still hadn't managed to get him to bed. He told them I'd stolen and hid his tablet. They asked me where I'd put it, so I told them, my stepmother got it and gave it back to him. She got pissed at me, how dare I hide his things. I told her what happened but she told me it's not my place to punish him. So I told her if she's going to undermine my actions while I'm supposed to be in charge of him I'm not babysitting him ever again, I have better things to do than put up with his behavior if I'm not allowed to deal with it. After that every time they asked I refused, eventually they stopped asking. They recently asked if I'd stay with him overnight while they went out of town for a wedding. I reminded them of the incident and once again told them I'm not putting up with him if I'm not allowed to do anything about his behavior. He still acts out at 15. His mother doesn't know the meaning of the word, discipline. They pleaded with me because they were desperate but I still refused. Edit. Something I forgot to add. This would have been a work night for me. I have to get up at 5 a.m. but my brother stays up all night on the PlayStation. Dot and is very loud about it. I told them I'd consider it if they confiscated his PlayStation during, because I don't want him disturbing my sleep, they said no. Edit 2. It's been pointed out that it is fact not illegal to leave an under 16 alone overnight. My dad and stepmother believed it was, and told me this when they asked me. I was unaware that they were wrong, it sounded believable to me. This is the only recent incidence of him needing a babysitter, he is usually left on his own. Also, when he was 8 he had a bedtime, I was asked to enforce it. Not the asshole, the long game is especially delicious on this one. Make sure to take yourself out to celebrate. Clinking glasses. Not the asshole. You're not obligated to babysit their kid. Not to mention he's 15 and if they don't trust him to be alone for a night, they can hire babysitter. Not the asshole the punishment fit the crime. Nothing worse than taking care of entitled siblings especially when parents always take their side never hear you out and undermine you. Stay assertive. Don't change your decision cause it'll let them know that when you've had enough, it's enough and they should respect your boundaries. Not the asshole. So, they want you to be responsible for him, but you can't actually take action when he misbehaves? Nope. You're not obligated to babysit for anyone, even family, and especially not under circumstances. I'm sure he would sneak out or raise hell while you were there, and it would be your fault for letting him even though you weren't allowed to tell him no and hold him accountable. Your dad and stepmom created this situation, they can get themselves out of it. A 15-year-old should be able to stay on his own for a few hours, even overnight, if somebody checks in on him. Lots of babysitters are 15. But, on some level, your parents may know their coddled and indulged child is not on that level of maturity. You, op, now 28, are not required to indulge or coddle him. Not the asshole your parents have time to seek other arrangements. Not the asshole. What's even the point if babysitting if you have no authority? Your damn parents can do it themselves if they don't want anyone telling their coddled son that he's being a brat. They didn't do that to you when you were that age, did they? Not the asshole. That's an entirely reasonable boundary. They'll figure something out, and it's not your problem. Not the asshole. And stick to your no. If he was a handful at 8, he is worst at 15 if he still needs babysitting.
Also, 15 body is close to a man, so if you refuse him something he can be violent and dangerous toward you. Am I the asshole telling my ex's daughter the truth about why I can't see her anymore? My ex, Kara, has a sweet, amazing daughter, Layla. I've been in Layla's life since she was 5, now 14. We've always gotten along super well, and we're ridiculously close. Layla has never met her biological father, but considers me her father, and calls me dad. I consider her my daughter. My ex and I plan to have more children together. Though when we were at least 30 and financially stable, Despite waiting and protection we got a false positive about two years ago, when we hadn't started trying yet. About a month after this Kara realized she didn't want any more children. We tried to work it out, but just couldn't because I wanted more children, while Kara didn't. Despite trying to figure it out and marriage counseling, we broke up four months ago. However, there was a major issue, Layla. I was legally just the mother's ex-boyfriend. My lawyer told me I have no rights to see Layla if Kara disapproves. And Kara took our separation hard. She feels I'm choosing blood over her and Layla, not it at all, and won't let me see her. I've missed them both so much, and not seeing Layla is killing me. But just giving in and going back is a bad idea, according to my therapist anyway. This is the context to the actual event. Last month Layla showed up at my work all upset, she even skipped school to see me. She was hoping I'd come to see her and felt betrayed that I hadn't. I took her back to school and we talked. She felt abandoned, that her dad, me, didn't love or want her. I ended up telling her the truth. That I love her more than anything, and she'll always be my daughter even if I can't see her. Where I may have crossed the line is explaining how I legally cannot see her anymore without Kara's okay. And that if Kara changes her mind, I'll happily involved in her life. She seemed happier when I dropped her off, but it didn't end well. A week later Kara called me furious. Apparently Layla had been trying to convince her to let me see her, or even take me back, I didn't ask her to, and did not say I wanted Kara back. Since I talked to her apparently she's refused to listen to her mother and been extremely rude and cruel. Layla is basically acting out until Kara lets me see her. Kara wants me to talk to her and end it. As I said to her, I'm happy to tell Layla to stop and be good, but I'm not going to tell her I don't want to see her. My parents think I'm being unnecessarily cruel to Layla. They say I'm being unfair by involving her in matters between me and Kara, and that for now I should listen to Kara and just end things. My friends have basically said they understand why I'm acting this way, but I shouldn't have given Layla, false hope. I honestly just didn't want her to think I abandoned her or hated her. I love her more than anything. Clearly it hasn't gone well but I just hate the idea of lying to Layla about how I feel. Because I do want to be there for her. But maybe it was just cruel and selfish like everyone is saying. I ate a edit from a few messages I've seen since waking up. I think I didn't explain our relationship clear enough. We never married because we just didn't want marriage. It is a regret in retrospect, but we, especially Kara, don't really believe in the idea of marriage. Our breakup was difficult. Neither of us really wanted to break up, even though we understood that we weren't compatible anymore. It did come down to me following through and ending it, but Kara did know it was coming. I did not blame the breakup itself on Kara. We haven't told Layla the specific issue, children, but she knows that I ended it. She also is aware that it is a mutual problem, and I have never acted like it's Kara's fault we aren't together, just me not visiting. Also, I'd be happy to contribute to Layla financially as well as physically, emotionally. I have been all this time. Kara just isn't letting me. Edit again. Adoption just never came up honestly. I've been her dad, and everyone knows it. We just never thought about making it legal honestly. Dumb, I know now, but I just never thought of it since our relationship was real to me. Our counseling did discuss Layla, but while Kara was upset, we originally thought about having it relatively split, like I see her a day or two a week. I obviously would want 50-50, but she wasn't okay with that. Then when the split actually occurred it was really hard on Kara and she apparently decided different. Also, I did say already but it's not about blood. I literally just want a big family and multiple children. Not about blood or being biological. I'd be happy if we adopted, but Kara wants no other children whatsoever. Not the asshole. Assuming you didn't paint her mother in a bad light, she asked you why you weren't seeing her. She's a 14-year-old, not a 4-year-old. She deserves to know why someone who loved her most of her life, who, for all intents and purposes, was basically her dad, just disappeared like that. 
Kara shouldn't have been keeping that from her daughter. That's a great way to foster abandonment and self-consciousness issues. Not the asshole. Kara wants me to talk to her and end it. Kara can't have it both ways. If she doesn't want you involved in Layla's life, then she doesn't get to pull you in on disciplinary issues. Either she needs to set aside her feelings and find a way for you to be involved if that's what her daughter wants, or she needs to just deal with being the mean parent, for now until Layla moves on, or is officially old enough to build her own relationship with you. I am going with not the asshole here. You should definitely tell Layla that you don't want to get back with her mom, though. Not the asshole. Kara doesn't want you to see your daughter. She's demanded that's a package deal thing because she legally can. But family is whoever the child thinks it is psychologically, and Kara is hurting her own daughter by using her as leverage. Legal doesn't necessarily mean right. Not the asshole. You've kept the door so that when she's old enough she can come to you without having to ask permission. She is allowed to want you in her life if she considers you dad. You did nothing wrong for simply wanting more children. She shouldn't be asking you to lie and break that child's heart because of her misjudgment. Breakups are hard and maybe one day she'll come around to you seeing her before she's 18 but until then it's okay for her to know you still love her and your door is open when she's older. Not the asshole. You and Layla love each other as father and daughter, even if not there is no biological bond. Kara is definitely not acting in the best interest of her daughter. You were correct in letting Layla know that you love her as she would otherwise be devastated. Quite frankly, Layla has a right to be upset at her mother for preventing you from seeing Layla. Not the asshole. Breakups can be very hard and cruel. Not the asshole your ex took away the only father her daughter has ever known without an explanation and now she is upset that her daughter is a human being rather than an extension of her. You are not an asshole for wanting her to know the truth so she doesn't feel abandoned. Am I the asshole for bluntly telling my sister I don't care if people think I'm homophobic? Bit of a loaded title, I'll admit. But to give some context, I, 22M, have an older sister Sky, 26F. When I was in high school, our mother, 48F, cheated on our dad, 48M, and left us to be with her boyfriend. When our dad moved on, he wound up dating Frida, 41F, the mother of Phil, 22M, my bully, who never did anything but make fun of me and if you know, you know words can really fucking hurt. I begged him not to be with her, I really, really begged him not to but didn't listen. The worst part was having to go with him to their house. My sister is the only one who realized how distraught I was. I had to go and so I left to be with my mother. My dad took that personally and thought I was just trying to spite him moving on. I only stayed with my mother until Skye got her own apartment and I moved in with her as soon as I could. She never cut off contact with our dad, which is fair because she was a lot closer to him than I was and she never pushed me to go to him or to our mother. Like high school life only got worse after I left my dad and university has been such a goddamn godsend since everybody here is nice and stuff. My graduation is coming up in April and I sent early invites to dad and to my mother, just finished applying, but not to the families they have now. Mother accepted but dad called demanding invites for Frida and Phil. I said no and told me that it to prove to him that I'm not homophobic. That caught me off guard but I didn't back down. Yesterday I talked to my sister about it and she told me that because Phil's gay, they've been telling everyone that I don't come over and see him because I'm homophobic. She told me that she always sticks up for me and defends me but she wishes I could reconcile with him since it hurts her because people we know probably think the worst of me. I got pissed off and told her in a really rude way not to bother since I don't care if anybody thinks I'm homophobic. She got really sad and told me that she'd never stop defending me and I just huffed and we didn't really talk for the rest of the day. But I've slept on it really bad and I never should have said that to her since she isn't pushing for me to reconcile and she's the one who defends me and I know my tone was really mean. I really feel like a major asshole and that I never should have hurt her by saying those things, hence why I'm on Reddit instead of studying for finals. Edit. Since people keep wondering this, yes my dad knows I was bullied by Phil but he doesn't think it was real bullying. And my sister has a good relationship with my dad and his new family, new kids and all she loves him and I'm not going to try to force her to choose between us. Not the asshole Phil is still bullying you, he's just changed his tactics. Not the asshole Phil knows d-m well why he's not invited, and he's trying to deflect blame. You just need to be very clear with everyone that you don't care if Phil's gay, but you do care that he bullied you. I don't know who they are badmouthing you to but this is one of the few cases where I'd go nuclear Phil was a bully. Has he ever apologized? 
Has his mother? If it's to family, contact them directly. If it's friends, post it on their bloody Facebook pages. I don't understand how a dad you make his child live with a bully and repeatedly choose the bully not the asshole. I don't think you're the asshole. You should definitely apologize to your sister though. Your dad? That's a real asshole. Phil? Being gay doesn't justify being a bully, definitely an asshole. Frida? Allowing her son to be a bully, also an asshole. Edit wow thanks for the awards and upvotes cold sweat smile. It's really pathetic that Phil is weaponizing his sexuality in order to continue to victimize you. As a queer person, I can confidently say, well no I can't say it because I don't want to catch a ban. But you know where I was going. You should apologize to your sister though, but make it clear that reconciliation is off the table. She only cares about you and doesn't want these people to continue to sully your reputation with their lies. No assholes here between you and your sister. Phil and his mom are big big ones though. And so is your dad for supporting that crap. Crash the next big family event they have you know when all the family and friends are over and announce that you just want to clear the air. That you don't give one flying fuck that Phil is gay. You refuse to see him because he is a abusive bully, his mother is an enabler, and your father is a liar who knows damn well why you don't come around. And then leave. Not the asshole. Info. Did your dad know about Phil bullying you in HS, or did he just think you didn't want him moving on with another woman besides your mom? Not the asshole. You chose to stay away for your mental health, and it sounds like you did not know Phil was gay. It sounds like you did not want to be around people who are bad for your mental health. Your dad created the homophobic narrative because it makes you look like the villain, and makes him look like a great guy. Your dad and stepmom created this to make them look better. Enjoy your graduation and live a great life away from that bullshit.